Washington State, known for its majestic mountains, lush forests, and expansive coastline, holds more than just natural beauty. It's a land filled with incredible discoveries that span archaeology, geology, paleontology, and more. From ancient tools to mysterious geological formation, the Evergreen State has continually surprised explorers and researchers with its hidden wonders. Have you ever wondered what secrets lie beneath Washington's rugged terrain and coastal waters? Imagine finding 13,000-year-old tools, mammoth fossils, shipwrecks, and strange underground formations. In today's video, we'll uncover some of the most fascinating and bizarre discoveries made in Washington State. Join us as we explore ancient artifacts, fossilized forests, glacial phenomena, and strange mysteries that reveal the rich history and hidden wonders of this incredible region. Ancient Clovis Tools in the Columbia Basin In the dry land of the Columbia Basin, archaeologists unearthed a collection of Clovis tools dating back over 13,000 years. These stone tools, characterized by their distinctive fluted points, were used by some of the earliest known inhabitants of North America. The Clovis people were expert hunters and relied on these tools for hunting large game, such as mastodons, and bison. The significance of this discovery is profound. For decades, researchers debated whether the Columbia Basin was habitable during the end of the Ice Age due to glacial activity. However, the discovery of these tools challenges that idea, suggesting that early humans not only lived here, but thrived. The tools were found alongside animal bone, indicating a well-established hunting ground. One particularly fascinating aspect of the find is how it connects to broader migration theories. How did these early people arrive here? And why did they choose this region? The tools suggest a network of travel routes and seasonal hunting camps, offering a window into the lives of people who lived thousands of years ago. The Columbia Basin, with its dry climate, has preserved these artifacts remarkably well, allowing us to piece together the story of early human adaptation and survival. Prehistoric burial sites in the San Juan Island. The San Juan Islands off Washington's coast are not just a picturesque paradise, they hold deep historical significance. In recent years, excavations have uncovered prehistoric burial sites that date back 2,000 to 3,000 years. These burial sites provide a profound glimpse into the spiritual and social practices of the region's early indigenous inhabitants, specifically the Coast Salish people. Archaeologists found human remains carefully laid to rest alongside artifacts such as stone tools, shell ornaments, and carved bone pieces. The way these sites were arranged indicates complex ceremonial tradition and a deep respect for the deceased. Burial practices varied, suggesting different social statuses or roles within the community. One site revealed a grave containing an intricately carved whalebone, hinting at the spiritual significance of marine life. These discoveries challenge us to reconsider how early indigenous people interacted with their environment and honored their ancestors. The San Juan Island, rich in resources, supported thriving communities long before European settlers arrived. Why does this matter? Each burial site deepens our understanding of the region's cultural heritage and connects modern descendants to their ancient ancestors. The careful preservation of these sites ensures that the stories of Washington's earliest people are not forgotten. The Mystery of the Kennewick Man. In 1996, on the banks of the Columbia River near Kennewick. A chance discovery by two men wading in the water led to one of the most significant archaeological finds in the United States, the Kennewick Man. This nearly complete skeleton, estimated to be over 9,000 years old, sparked controversy and intrigue. The initial analysis of the Kennewick Man's skull suggested features unlike those of modern Native Americans, leading to speculation about his origin. Was he part of a different migration wave? Researchers debated his ancestry, with some even suggesting ties to ancient peoples of Asia or Europe. This debate highlighted the complexity of early human migration to North America. The discovery became even more contentious due to legal battles over the remains. Indigenous tribes claimed the Kennewick man as an ancestor and fought for his reburial under the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act. 
NAGPRA. After years of conflict, new DNA evidence confirmed that the Kennewick Man was indeed closely related to modern Native American tribes of the region. In 2017, he was finally returned and given a traditional burial. The Kennewick Man's discovery underscores the delicate balance between scientific inquiry and cultural heritage, reminding us that every ancient find has a story that connects us to the past. Ice Age floods and glacial geology. Washington's dramatic landscapes were shaped by one of the most powerful forces of nature, the Ice Age floods. Around 15,000 years ago, massive glacial dams holding back Lake Missoula in Montana periodically failed, unleashing catastrophic floods through eastern Washington. These events, known as the Missoula floods, occurred dozens of times, each one reshaping the land with unimaginable force. Imagine a lake larger than Lake Erie suddenly bursting free. Walls of water, 400 feet high, roared across the landscape at speeds up to 80 miles per hour, carrying boulders, icebergs, and debris. These torrents carved out distinctive features, such as the channeled scabland, a region stripped of soil to reveal a barren, rocky terrain. Dry Falls, once a waterfall five times wider and twice as high as Niagara Falls, remains a stark testament to the flood's magnitude. The floods left behind enormous potholes, coolies, and giant ripple marks, some measuring 30 feet high and 300 feet long. The waters scoured deep channels, creating rivers and lakes that define the region today. Areas like the fertile Willamette Valley in Oregon were formed by sediment deposits carried by the floods, making them ideal for agriculture. These floods also affected ecosystems and early human settlements. The force of the water would have swept away forests and wildlife, altering habitats forever. Evidence of human activity, like stone tools, has been found in flood-affected areas, suggesting that prehistoric people witnessed and survived these cataclysmic events. The flood's legacy is seen not just in geological formations, but also in the distribution of soil and resources that influenced where people settled. Modern geologists like J. Harlan Bretz, who first theorized the floods in the 1920s, faced skepticism before his ideas were confirmed by aerial photography and satellite imagery. His work has helped scientists understand the flood's role in shaping the Pacific Northwest and appreciate the power of glacial forces. Why does this matter today? Understanding these floods helps us recognize the immense power of natural forces and the fragility of our environment. Insights from these ancient events inform modern flood prevention, dam safety, and land use planning. As climate change increases the frequency of extreme weather, the Missoula floods remind us of the need for preparedness and respect for nature's potential to transform the world. Fossilized forests of the Ginkgo Petrified Forest State Park. Located near Vantage, Washington, the Ginkgo Petrified Forest State Park is home to one of the most diverse collections of petrified wood in the world. These ancient trees, fossilized over 15 million years ago, offer a fascinating glimpse into the region's prehistoric environment. The petrified logs found here were once part of a lush, temperate forest. Volcanic eruptions from the Columbia River basalt group covered the forest in layers of lava and ash, preserving the wood through a process called permineralization. As groundwater seeped through the volcanic ash, minerals like silica replaced the organic material, turning the wood to stone while retaining its original structure. What makes this site truly special is the variety of tree species discovered, including ginkgo, maple, elm, and walnut. This diversity suggests that the climate during the Miocene epoch was much warmer and wetter than it is today. The petrified wood displays intricate detail, such as growth rings and bark pattern, providing clues about the environmental condition of the time. Visitors to the park can walk among these ancient stone logs and imagine a world where towering forests once stood. The Ginkgo Petrified Forest serves as a time capsule, preserving the history of Washington's dynamic geological past. Mammoth fossils in the Olympic Peninsula. In 2016, an exciting discovery was made on the Olympic Peninsula when a construction crew unearthed a mammoth tusk while digging a drainage ditch. 
subsequent excavations revealed additional fossilized bone confirming the presence of a Colombian mammoth dating back approximately 14,000 years. These massive creatures roamed the plains and forests of Washington during the late Pleistocene epoch, coexisting with early humans. The discovery is significant not only because of the mammoth itself, but also because of the context in which it was found. The fossilized remains were preserved in ancient sediment layers, providing clues about the environment during the Ice Age. Researchers found evidence of grassland and marshy areas that supported large herbivores like mammoths, bison, and mastodon. One fascinating aspect of this find is its connection to human history. Evidence from other sites suggests that early inhabitants of the region may have hunted or scavenged these massive animals. The mammoth's tusk showed signs of weathering and abrasion, leading researchers to speculate whether it had been exposed for a time before being buried. The discovery of mammoth fossils in the Olympic Peninsula helps us understand the region's Ice Age ecology and the interactions between humans and megafauna. It raises intriguing questions about how early humans survived and adapted to a world shared with these enormous creatures. The Mima Mounds phenomenon. One of Washington's strangest natural mysteries is the Mima Mound, located near Olympia. These enigmatic, dome-shaped hills cover vast areas, with each mound standing about six feet tall and 30 feet wide. The origins of these formations have puzzled scientists, explorers, and locals for centuries. Various theories have been proposed to explain the Mima Mound. Some believe they were created by gophers, pushing soil into heaps over thousands of years. Others suggest seismic activity, glacial processes, or even ancient human activity as the cause. Despite numerous studies, no single explanation has been universally accepted. The gopher theory is particularly intriguing. Researchers have observed pocket gophers in the area creating small soil mounds, and computer models suggest that, over long periods, their behavior could produce the larger Mima mound. However, skeptics argue that this doesn't fully explain the uniform size and spacing of the mound. Adding to the mystery, similar formations have been found in other parts of the world, including South America and Africa, where gophers don't exist. Could these mounds be a result of a global geological phenomenon? The Mima mounds continue to spark debate and curiosity, serving as a reminder of nature's ability to confound even the best scientific mind. Strange sea creatures found off Puget Sound. Puget Sound, with its deep waters and complex ecosystem, has been the site of many fascinating and strange discoveries. In recent years, marine biologists exploring the depths have encountered previously unknown or rare sea creatures, expanding our understanding of the underwater world. One notable discovery was a giant Pacific octopus exhibiting unusual behaviors and adaptation. These creatures are known for their intelligence and camouflage abilities, but researchers documented an octopus displaying a unique hunting technique involving coordinated movements and tool use. Another surprising find was the six-gill shark, a deep-sea predator rarely seen in shallow waters, which appeared in Puget Sound, possibly due to changes in water temperature or prey availability. Scientists have also discovered strange gelatinous organisms resembling translucent blobs known as salps. These creatures play a crucial role in the marine food web by filtering plankton and forming dense swarms that drift with ocean currents. Their sudden appearance in large numbers indicates changes in ocean conditions. These discoveries highlight the richness and complexity of Puget Sound's marine life. They remind us that even in well-studied waters, there are still mysteries to uncover. Each new creature or behavior adds to our understanding of marine ecosystem and how they respond to environmental changes. The discovery of native petroglyphs in Yakima. In the hills and canyons near Yakima, Washington, researchers have uncovered ancient petroglyphs, rock carvings made by indigenous peoples thousands of years ago. These intricate carvings depict a range of images, including animals, human figures, and abstract symbols, offering a window into the culture and beliefs of the region's early inhabitants. The petroglyphs are typically found on basalt rock faces and were created using tools to etch designs into the stone. Some of the carvings are estimated to be over 5,000 years old, making them 
among the oldest known example of indigenous art in the Pacific Northwest. The images often tell stories of hunting, spiritual ritual, and connections to the natural world. One particularly intriguing site features a series of carvings that appear to represent cosmic events or mythological stories. Researchers speculate that these images may have been used to mark important seasonal events or to convey oral histories. The petroglyphs preservation in the dry climate of eastern Washington has allowed these stories to endure for millennia. Protecting these sites is crucial as they offer invaluable insights into the cultural heritage of Washington's native peoples. The petroglyphs remind us of the deep, enduring connection between the land and its original inhabitants and the importance of preserving these stories for future generations. Shipwrecks of the Washington Coast Washington's rugged coastline has long been a treacherous route for maritime travel, earning it the nickname the Graveyard of the Pacific. Over the centuries, hundreds of ships have met their end along these stormy shores, and many of their wrecks remain hidden beneath the waves. One of the most famous wrecks is the SS Valencia, a steamship that sank off the coast of Cape Beale in 1906. The tragedy claimed the lives of over 130 people and sparked numerous ghost stories and sightings of phantom ship. The wreckage of the Valencia was discovered decades later, with parts of the ship still eerily intact. Another notable discovery was the USS Abner Reed, a World War II destroyer that struck a mine near the Aleutian Islands. In 2018, a team of researchers located the ship's stern, which had been missing for over 75 years. The discovery honored the memory of the sailors who lost their lives and provided closure to their family. These shipwrecks are more than just relics of the past. They are time capsules that preserve stories of bravery, tragedy, and survival. Each wreck offers a glimpse into the challenges faced by sailors and the unforgiving power of the sea. Exploring these wrecks helps us understand Washington's maritime history and the importance of preserving these underwater sites. Future discoveries await. Washington State is a treasure trove of natural wonders, ancient artifacts, and historical mysteries from 13,000-year-old tools in the Columbia Basin to the enigmatic Mima Mounds and shipwrecks along the coast. These discoveries remind us of the rich history and untold stories hidden within this incredible region. What discovery fascinated you the most? Do you think there are more secrets waiting to be uncovered beneath Washington's rugged landscapes and waters? Leave a comment below and share your thoughts. If you enjoyed this journey, through Washington's hidden wonders, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest explorations and adventures. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.